what is going on everybody today i bought a beaver contessa shay do you think i'm crazy well i thought we were supposed to be downsizing here so <laughs> <laughs> i've known the ownership history of this coach for a long time so do you think we should get rid of the newel and keep this i'm really excited to take a look in here and see what it looks like um it's in really good shape especially for the year let's take it for a quick test drive okay let's do it This coach is super clean. We're gonna show you around in a moment. This is a 2001 Beaver Contessa, and my buddy Doug Sewell's out here in Arizona hanging out with me. What's going what, on, Andrew? What did I find, buddy? Buddy, you found, what do we call this thing? I don't, I mean, there's so many different words you could really, I'm gonna say a cream puff, or maybe a, a gym, something yeah. you don't see. I mean, if you just look, I mean, we can talk about condition later, but. So the previous owner of this was an Air Force Colonel. When this coach became available, I just had to buy it myself, but check out, we gotta move these shadows and I gotta give a shout out to Electric Bike. Doug, how is this uh, this Electric Bike treating well, you, man? Uh, the wife said I had to get out and exercise more. I'm not sure she meant buy an electric bike. <laughs> uh, it'll hold 300 pound dude. Huge shout out to Electric Bike. They actually gave this to me. Really enjoying riding those around. But let's check out this Beaver Contessa. So I absolutely love the color scheme on this coach. All right, I'm gonna put my seat belt on here. We're just gonna go take this around the block. I wanna show you guys this coach real quick. The previous owner was an Air Force Colonel. Uh, he stored it at one of the RV storage lots that I did detailing at. Those of you that are new to the channel, if you go check out my first videos that I posted, I was out detailing these motorhomes every day. So I made a lot of connections and this is one of those coaches that the owner was just meticulously caring for. I mean, look at this dash. It's already getting a little bit dark, but I want everyone to see this. I had the opportunity to buy this motorhome and Shay, what, what happened? You want to let them know? But we're out here in Arizona, um, hoping to downsize and get rid of things. Uh, but, <laughs> yeah, seriously, true story. <laughs> we're Andrew moving decided to Florida. To, yeah, Andrew decided to buy this motorhome. Um, honestly though, after looking at this, it's a great decision. I mean, you can't, like you said, it's in excellent condition. There's just plenty of power. This is the cat. I'm jumping on it. And you can see these roads are kind of cracky, but it's just a super solid ride. I think Doug's trying to buy this coach from me, actually. I think, I don't know how long I'm going to own this one for, because what do you think of this? Well, man? I think, I think you, uh, I think you're better off letting me. <laughs> full with this coach because um, I can find it with the financing we can get done Andrew we can take trade-ins we don't need two motor homes we have a newel coach as well so. we got a service department that's gonna fix any little things wrong with this coach I think it's I think you just better let me let, let me just make you some money right quick and let me handle this coach I'm so excited about the, how this drives now uh, I'll tell you what, Shay, you wanna show them a little bit of the sunset that we're looking at here? It's so beautiful. It's kinda dusk. I, I think this coach might be going over to Doug. So this is the reason why. So on the one side, there's a little bit of paint that needs to be resprayed up here, but you've got a guy that can get that all sprayed. Yeah, I think, we, I think we're gonna get the, this coach really deserves uh, to be, to be look it's like it's like it originally did so i think a little bit of paint work will go a long way with this coach it is in pristine condition with the exception of what you see here when you walk in this coach in person it, it really just it's amazing and beaver was built far far and away some of the best coaches ever built and for the price point i mean this thing's got aqua hot system in or aqua heat or whatever they're hydro called. hot yeah hydro hot in there uh with the caterpillar engine and the way this coach was built uh it really somebody somebody's gonna love this coach. yeah let's take a look inside so we just drove 2500 miles in the newel how do you think this compares to the newel um it's a little bit smaller uh the ceilings are a little lower but overall i mean this this is an excellent condition so they're pretty comparable as far as the years go right this is one year newer than the newel but i'll be honest like i've got to kind of show people like with one finger like it's just such a robust feel driving this coach Reminds me a lot of the country coaches. And uh, those of you that have followed the channel know I'm a big fan of the early Beavers, the country coaches, the Mo early Monaco's, a lot of that product out of Lane County, Oregon. When you look at this wood, um, just such a higher quality product. So we gotta figure out what we're gonna do with this shade. Should we sell it to Doug? 
Should we try to sell it ourselves? I mean, there's a lot of value here. One thing that I do really like about this, Andrew said it a couple times, but in our renewal, we have cabinets that hang a little bit lower on the windshield, so you can see more of the windshield um, in this than you can in, in our renewal. It's a very so, good point, yeah. yeah so kind of the first thing I noticed is while we're sitting here. The is gonna be a lot more expensive than this. It's only got about 71,000 miles on it. Then Fires right up. I mean, most people will look at this coach and go 71,000 miles on a motorhome. Well, that seems that seems high, but I would rather have a coach that's had some average miles put on it, three or four, five thousand miles a year over the course of its life. That's a good thing, Andrew. Yeah, and when we start looking through this coach, we're gonna see how well it's been cared for. Even the carpet looks original and it's yeah. clean. And when you walk in this coach, you just get a, you just get a. There's scent. no smells. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so there's a little bit of a shadow here. I apologize, but check out the condition of the leather, all in ex excellent condition. Driver's seat is in excellent condition as well. We just cleaned out the interior real quick. So check out how they have the beaver on the countertops. This was a high-end coach. There is uh, one foggy window there. Lightly I just, fogged on that window. I'm going to call RV Glass Guru too. We're going to see if we can get rvglassguruaz.com out here to get this foggy window taken care of. Yep. And then it, the actually front windshield just needs to be reset. You guys are seeing it in the raw condition. This thing's 20 plus years old. I don't know that I've ever seen a coach that's this clean inside. I'm not, this is not a sales pitch, folks. This coach is as clean as I've ever seen for 20 years old ever and i've been in i would say thousands of motorhomes now yeah if not definitely hundreds but more like thousands yeah check out this is the original dash up here i mean check out the condition of the dash i mean the condition of the steering wheel this was an air force colonel that owned this coach he ran a tight ship all the wood i think he must have ran some sort of wood oil over they're just so so clean it's so clean and healthy in here I mean, yeah everything I'm seeing, touching, feeling, smelling in this coach leads me to believe that this is just the way it was when it was brand. I mean, the ceiling, and there's there's just no smell of water. And another thing, too, you got to point out to the people that you haven't mentioned, this is a double slide coach. Yeah, this is Two a double slide. slide. Yeah, we have the slide outs in right now. I always like showing coaches with the slide outs in, look at this. Uh, but this actually gets a lot bigger. You could see there's a look at that slide and you know beaver coach, the way this coach is constructed. And I like this floor plan with the large windows on your door side over here. That's gonna be your patio side. And you've got a recliner here where you can kick back and look out the window there or from your sofa area here. We've got this big shadow. Uh, coming across but i mean even the pillows are in excellent condition look at the corian yeah if you put this corian in a coach today in a 2022 model it would pass yeah it would if you put this furniture these cabinets this corian these floors in a 2022 model today you would have people buying this coach brand new yeah the condition yep. i mean absolutely these chairs these are super cool chairs with like the custom suede. This coach was $260,000 brand new. Yeah. I mean, when you look inside of these cabinets too, look at how clean everything is. I mean, here's all your owner's manuals. I, First touch, just yeah. generator oh, started right up. This is, uh, yeah, this is cool. Uh, I catch myself doing a lot of selling lately, but I'm just not even selling this coach yet. And I'm just in awe. I, I, I just have to buy this. I don't know. I'm, I'm blown away. What do you you think? Uh, you want to try to sell this, Shay, or what do you think? Should we sell it to Doug? What do you think we should do? <laughs> um, when you said you bought this, I obviously trust trust your opinion and trust your judgment. So um, I knew that it was going to be in really good shape, and especially knowing the story behind it. Um, but I'm honestly, I, I can't believe just how good of shape this thing is. How Should clean it is. I mean, uh, so I this, really do like it. So, but so this would be a lot less money than a Newell. Yeah. Should we sell the Newell and keep this? Uh, <laughs> keep a lot of money in our pocket. That is true. That is true. I don't know. I, this is a tough decision. It I think, is. I think Doug is going to buy this one from us though, just because it's in that price, you know, it's in the desirable price range. I think Doug is probably going to be around seventy to eighty thousand dollars on it. What he sells it for, I'm not sure, but uh, he can take trade-ins. He can help people get financing. They can get coaches delivered. Uh, they can just do so much. I mean, yeah. I, I literally want to buy this coach from you, Andrew, and get it home, do a few things to it, 
and get this represented out on your channel to one of your viewers who I know will love it. I don't know, Shay, you think, I, I'm thinking we're gonna stay with the Newell. What I, do you think? I think we're gonna stay with the Newell. Um, we love the Newell, driving out here, the four days of it, honestly, we had so much fun. I didn't feel like it wasn't, we enjoyed the trip out here. You yeah. Know? It, oh, it was awesome. And that, that was my first time really traveling a, across country in a coach that has a 200 gallon diesel fuel tank. And it was just so cool how far we could go, just being totally self, you know, sufficient. Fortunately, Shay had a bunch of good grub uh, for <laughs> us, so that was good. But um, on our way out to Florida, we both drove vehicles out there, so we both drove cars, and it, it was not enjoyable. If yeah, you know, we did it in three days, so it just wasn't enjoyable. So I wasn't necessarily looking forward to to driving back out here. Um, but in the motorhome, obviously a completely different experience in the best way possible. So. If you're gonna take care of that foggy window and reset that glass in there before I pick it up, I think we're gonna make a deal. I think we might make, we, yeah. we, we might have a deal. Uh, I don't think I can pull, throw in the electric bike though. You're trying to get the electric bike out of me. <laughs> well, Shay wants to keep I that. I think my so. wife wants me to have a pedal bike. So I think the electric bike is out okay. for me, so. Well, let's keep looking around here. These mirrors just, this is super high end, but this floor plan is super cool. So this coach actually has a bathtub in it. One of the biggest bathrooms I've seen of this era. Now this is only a double slide coach, but just a super cool floor plan. So you've got a full bathtub over here, tons of countertop space. And then isn't there a washer dryer or combo in there? Yeah. yeah. There's the headroom in there and just super clean this is how clean you know this is the carpet in the bedroom countertop space on both sides of the bed i like the the finishes that's still a modern headboard same thing with the valances here and the lights that storage up top you can just tell how clean he is back here you've got the wardrobe across the back of the coach and this actually closes up etched symbol in the glass there hooks here just to hang stuff up bedside i like that a towel or whatnot hooks all over wardrobe across the back big window out of your bedroom as well all right guys so i'm gonna make a deal with doug here i think doug's gonna buy this coach he's taking pictures of all the stuff right now i'll see he's probably out getting quotes that's what doug does he wants to make sure he can put the strong money on it let's see if we can't make a deal with doug this coach is the right colors it's got the gerard awning up top you're taking pictures of it <laughs> listen i'm you're, marketing this coach already you're ready to buy it call me i yeah, listen this coach is already sold andrew you you sold me this coach hey i haven't gotten the check yet you got no. listen yeah. when's the wire when's the wire deposit it's coming, coming over? over right now i just i just hit click submit just five minutes ago so <laughs> no no all kidding aside this coach is this is if you're in the market for a diesel pusher which i don't know what the price is gonna be i just gotta i gotta iron it out with you first but yeah yeah yeah, we gotta, yeah. Let's, well let's go. give doug a call and this this is this is definitely a coach i can vouch for he needs a couple little that's a few that, that little paint i mean I don't that even, one foggy I don't window even, obviously we're going to take it through a complete process mechanically and make sure everything's safe and and working but if you're interested in the coach before we touch it cosmetically you need to call me quick because uh i got a feeling i'm gonna take it yeah. to the paint super shop. clean jump on this one if you're yep. serious i think i might have bought and sold this beaver contest already so if you are a serious buyer you can get a hold of doug I think Doug's going to be the new owner of it now. Here's another thing, too, for your viewers, too. If you want to know anything about RVs, buying, selling, if you want to know what the best RVs are, schedule a consult call with Andrew because his knowledge, general knowledge of the RV industry, I don't know anybody that has more knowledge about the general RV industry than Andrew. So get on that website. What is the website, Andrew? Uh, uh, RVingwithandrewsteel.com. RVingwithandrewsteel.com. Non-biased, so if, yeah. I'll, I'll let you know if this coach is not the right coach for you and something else is the right coach, and when you yeah, schedule a console call. Uh, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't work for me. He doesn't work for Brad. He doesn't work for Newell. He doesn't work for, he's an independent guy. If you need something RV-wise, check him out. Yeah, so check out this electric bike here. Well, what was your review on this when you, you know, wrote it? Did you like listen. it? You want to show us how, you want to show us on YouTube how it rides? Yeah. Let's go. I mean, this thing's got pickup galore. Is it? See Doug riding an electric bike. Shout out to electric bikes. Hey. Town's uphill, I think it's good. <laughs> so if you're a serious buyer for this coach, I'll leave 
Doug's website in the description below, as well as his phone number. Greatly appreciate all of you subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you all so much. Have a wonderful and blessed day.